Hi everyone, we're back again today with block 19 of our 2020 quilt. And this block may look fairly similar to the block we did last time. So again with this block we're going to be dealing with four half square triangles in our corners, four two-piece strip sets in our outside edges, and this time instead of having the four patch, which is four squares, we're going to be making a quarter square triangle. So we're going to have four triangles instead of the four squares. You may also notice that there's a different look to the block just by the orientation of these strip set pieces. So last time I had you putting that dark strip that matched your half square triangle to the outside and that created this octagon look. This time we're going to have that dark strip be towards the center against our half square or quarter square triangle block, which then is going to create more of this anvil um, look to it. Okay, so it's just the orientation of this one piece of, of one piece strip set that's going to create a very different look for this block. So for this block, I've already sewn together. This was my strip piece and my half square triangle, so I've already sewn those together, which eventually will become the top and bottom of my block. And today we want to talk about how to make our quarter square triangles. There will be a sheet, instruction sheet, that is additional to our pattern sheet for this, so you can look uh, for that on our 2020 block chart. So for today, we've already I've already sewn together my two large squares. So to make this quarter square triangle, again, it's very similar to the half square triangles where I'm going to start with two large squares. I'm going to draw a line down the center, and then I'm going to sew on either side of that line. And then uh, I'm going to find my scissors. So I've already sewn these together, and then I can cut right on the line to split this in half, just like we've been doing with all of our half square triangles. So I'm just going to turn around and iron these. So there are my two larger half square triangles. And now what I want to do is I want to take one of them, and again, I'm going to draw my line on the back, and I want my line to go be drawn so that it's half on my orange color and half on my blue color going across my seam. Okay, so now when I line these up, I'm going to line it up so that my orange color is on top of my blue color and my two seams you can actually nest those corners together those seams you can nest them together at the corner and now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and again I'm going to sew a quarter inch away from that line on both sides when I come back and I cut this in half what I'm going to have is two pieces of my blue and two pieces of my orange creating that ha a quarter square triangle. So I will be right back. So here I have my square, my, my two half square triangles that I set together opposite colors and I've sewn on either side of that drawn line and now I'm going to cut them apart. And so from the two triangles, I'm going to end up with two quarter square triangle units. So for this block, we're only going to need to use one of them, so I'm going to set one aside. And again, I'm just going to turn around and press this quick. And I did have you cut these a little bit bigger, so now I can come and square this up to my four and a half inches. And I'm going to be doing that same method, making sure that I keep that diagonal line in, in line with one of my seams. Rotate my block 
trim the other two sides. So there I have my quarter square triangle all squared up to my four and a half inches. And with this method, that point is really nice and tight because it really doesn't matter where you hit, you're just always crossing over the, the two seams lined up. So you get that perfect center every time. So now when I take this block, I still have two remaining strip sets. Okay. And I'm going to sew it so that the same color is attached. So it's going to create kind of this little spool or hourglass look. And then eventually I'm going to come back and I'm going to sew these two on the top and bottom. And that'll be my finished block. So again, I'm going to go assemble this block and I will be right back. So here is our finished block for today. Again, this is a fun one where you can set it on point and get that little diagonal going with that different shape that you've created. Um, the other thing is, while we were making our quarter square triangles, we had a second one. So you could create another block and the only thing you would have to do different is you're going to create the same strip set with your blue and your orange. I already have this made. The only thing is if I made my half square triangles, triangles with my background and this was my orange fabric, when I put them together, I would just put my orange to the inside, which would give me kind of the mirror image. So this would be a blue one and then my other one would be the orange one. So it's kind of giving you a two for one when you make these. You can make two blocks just as easy as one. So again, just looking at our different color combinations, this was my uh, six half yard fabrics. This one is from my 12 fat quarters. And then this was the one that I made out of my scrap bin. So we went with a little bit of black and white and red with that one. And again, this was our block that we made for today. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll be back with our last block next time.